Anatomy and Physiology Tutorials, the Somatic and Autonomic Divisions of the Peripheral Nervous System. The peripheral nervous system is divided into two subdivisions, the somatic and the autonomic nervous system. The somatic nervous system is concerned with voluntary actions of effectors, or skeletal muscles, due to consciously perceived sensations that relate to the external environment. Receptors are stimulated in changes and provide information about touch, temperature, pressure, sight, hearing, smell, and taste, and position and movement of skeletal muscles and joints. The autonomic nervous system is concerned with sensations that are usually not consciously perceived and actions carried out are involuntary or automatic. Effectors are smooth muscle, cardiac muscle, and glands that secrete, all under involuntary control. The main function of this system is to maintain homeostatic conditions in the body, examples being your heart rate, respiratory rate, and body temperature being regulated. The two principal divisions of the autonomic nervous system are the sympathetic, and the parasympathetic. The sympathetic division is referred to as the fight or flight system or emergency division E. The body is preparing for increased energy needs. Division E referring to events associated with exercise, excitement, emergency, embarrassment. The sympathetic division prepare, prepares the body for increased energy needs by increasing your heart rate, respiratory rate, blood pressure, and blood glucose levels, dilates bronchioles to increase oxygen levels to the lungs and then into the bloodstream, and then also dilating blood vessels going to the skeletal system and constricts blood vessels going to the digestive, urinary, and reproductive system, therefore decreasing their functions. The parasympathetic division is referring to as the restoring, rest and digest, or feed and breathe division, because in this mode the body is concerned with normal body functions or activities. You see the sympathetic and the parasympathetic divisions are antagonistic to one another. In the parasympathetic division, the body restores and conserves energy by returning your heart rate, respiratory rate, and blood pressure to normal levels. Glucose levels drop and is stored in the liver and the muscle cells. Bronchioles return to normal diameter and normal blood flow to the digestive, urinary, and reproductive systems, thus returning them to normal bodily functions. This concludes our tutorial on the somatic and autonomic divisions of the peripheral nervous system.